Guys, I don't know if you can hear that, but my little brother's playing music in the in the living room. The songs is playing are fine. Outside, I'm moving. Guys, I'm a piano. The piano's popping. I pray that we unmask ourselves from everything that allows us to love. Because love now is true freedom. And that's where our freedom is. Hi guys, it's your girl Gala Homajalepa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have noticed that I have gone back to my weird ways of saying my name. I do apologize. I will do better. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys are doing good. Today's video is inspired by a video that I watched on Sinazo's channel. I will link the video down below. So then I will link the video down below on my description bar so that you guys can check it out and see the video you know and then also um, yeah this video is basically a random facts about me 10 random facts about me something along those lines I've been wanting to do this video actually like I wanted to do this video last year but then I don't know what distracted me and I did not do it so when I saw Sinaz's video, I was like, hmm, Linda Kaibata, Kibasha Hui, yeah, it's a Kitama di Boo, Tama Tu, Nadi Feli. Anyways, when I saw Sinaz's video, I was like, I also want to do this actually. And then I had to retrieve the. Um, the notes, the notes that I wrote my random facts on, because I wrote this note last year in July, I think June, July, I wrote those notes. And I was like, you know what? Now I have to retrieve it because I can't remember the facts that I had about me. I'm one of those people, like, you know, when someone's like, so tell me more about you, I'm like, what do I know about myself? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I'm literally one of those people so I had been writing this letter over like a period of time every time I think of something then I would add it but like yeah and then I had like eight points and I ended up adding three more actually even though this is like a ten random facts about me it's actually even a bonus a bonus my friend buy ten get one for free because I'm a businesswoman like that okay. but anyways guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification bell guys you will see even when i do the video code i'll be doing this a lot because i'm wearing matte lipstick and it's really uncomfortable okay i haven't worn matte lipstick ever since like lip glosses became a thing but anyways yeah um don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and yeah tell me random facts about yourself and maybe maybe you'll ignite something in me that i might have forgotten you know so let's just communicate tell me random facts about yourself and then we'll be good <laughs> we'll be good we'll be good okay um also i know that i haven't been doing a lot of youtube content I know that I haven't been doing a lot of makeup content. I promise you guys, this video was supposed to be a makeup video. And then somewhere along the lines, I was like, I don't like it. I don't like it at all because something happened and I just had to stop. Okay, something happened. I had to stop. But anyways, yeah, it's cool. Guys, I don't know if you can hear that, but my little brother's playing music in the in the living room and I can hear it from my room. I hope it's not gonna bother like the sound. Or like when I edit the video, I'll put like a backing track so you won't really hear it. But hey, the songs is playing a fine. Outside I'm moving. Hey. Hey, guys, I'm a piano. The piano's popping. <laughs> it is good to stay right into the video. I've been speaking a lot about everything. I hope you guys, I hope the lighting is not a problem because I had to turn it down a lot because I was looking so light skinned and actually that goes with my first point. My first point is that I hate with a capital H-A-T-E. I hate being told I gained complexion. Like a lot of people think that is a compliment. It's not a compliment to my daily. It's really not. You know, because the fact that you think like are you saying that when i was darker i was ugly 
it goes back to that whole thing of you know when we grew up I was very dark I was much darker than I am now and growing up people would always make these comments about Chia or movie because you're dark you know so to me it's like if you're telling me that I'm um, I gain complexion and I'm beautiful because I gain complexion it's sort of like you're telling me that when I'm dark I'm not beautiful and I don't like that I don't like that talk please leave it I don't I don't like it I feel like my hair is just acting up but anyways but yeah I genuinely am someone who loves being dark skinned so I don't like it when people say excuse me I don't like it when people say oh girl okay need has big no no also like just the whole thing of people saying stuff like I, why do people always see the need to say something about your body or your appearance? It's so rude. Um, it's like those people who see and they're like, Hey, okay, I've been getting that a lot. Like, mind your business, guys. Mind, I know what's in gay nile. For the fact that when I put on my jeans, they don't want to go up the way they used to. I know that I've gained weight. Hmm? What's in the concern you? Where do you enter? You know, before you open your mouth and say something, you must ask yourself, hmm, does this one concern me? Is this one my own business? If the answer is no, period. The second random fact about moi is that my playlist is always on shuffle. I don't understand people genuinely <laughs> i don't understand people who don't have their playlist on shuffle can never be me i can't stand the thoughts the idea of knowing what song is coming on next i don't like it hmm? i like mystery that's the life i want for myself Ooh, number three is that i have the worst self-confidence issues ever ever so point your by I'm one of those people that like if you say yo girl I love your skin I'll probably say something like hi bo do you see these pimples and I know that it is such a bad habit okay I listened to Nolene and she was telling us no don't say that don't say that Nolene said in one of her videos was talking about um habits that we basically need to just let go of and she was mentioning Mobuti, like some people just like have this habit of when someone compliments you, you're like, no, never. First of all, it's not nice. I know it because I also get a bit annoyed, like when I tell someone, you're so beautiful, and they're like, no, my darling, I'm not. Like, okay, yeah, you're not beautiful. Jeez. You know? <laughs> but sometimes I do that. And lately, I really have like been sort of, you know, throwing that on the side. Or like when people tell me I'm beautiful, usually I'm just like, oh, thank you. But I just don't take it seriously. Like, whatever. She's just saying that to be polite. Because I have the worst self-confidence issues ever. When you grow up being told that you're not good enough and you are ugly and you are fat and you're ugly because you are fat. Because I grew up being very dark. Um, not too dark, but I was quite dark skin. And at that time, remember, like dark skin was not as accepted as it is now. And I was also, I've always been big my whole life. Which is why I don't appreciate these comments about, oh, you gained weight. When have I ever been skinny? Please tell me. Let me know. When have I ever been skinny? So yeah, like when you grow up being told about tea, uh, yeah, oh, movie, whatever. Like once you grow up and you have an ugly duckling moment, because some of us really did have an ugly duckling moment. But like also, <laughs> once you grow up and people start telling you you're actually beautiful, like it's, it's very hard to sort of accept, you know. So yeah, um, usually when people say I'm beautiful, I just say thank you for the sake of being polite. My fourth random effect about me is that I am the worst texter ever. Which is annoying because I don't like it when I text someone. If I put my energy and my time and my power into texting you and then when I don't do it, I will get so angry guys. I genuinely hate it when people just like they don't reply to my texts on time or I hate it. But it to other people not because i want to do it i genuinely till this day don't understand what happens we'll be engaging in a very nice conversation and then somehow i'll get lost in the conversation not necessarily that i'm getting lost in the conversation for now corner it's just your conversation literally gets lost and i can't see it 
and then I'll move on with other people especially when like there are days when like a lot of people are texting me at the same time and then somehow your message gets lost in those people and then once it's lost it's lost I'm not gonna you know so when I reply on your status and then it says that there's two messages that are unread for me I'm like when did that happen <laughs> you know so I'm like literally the worst texter ever First, it was that thing of like every time we chill together, her brother was there, you know, because he had to translate everything. But after some time, I was like, I'm a girl, I have to learn so that we can communicate with each other without her brother being there. Now, the thing is that she was able to read lips, so she knew what I was saying, but now it was a problem for me to know what she's saying because I don't know sign language. So I learned sign language, and my sign language, okay, let me not lie, it wasn't like the best ever. But I was definitely able to communicate with someone who was deaf and most of the time I would use like um, If I did not know the word like you know how they have like different words for different things like for example this this I don't know if you guys can see that because I'm a bit close here, yeah. but this is this is Mpumalanga, right? So they have different words for different things However, if I did not know how to sign that word, I would just spell it out like I would literally just spell it out, you know um, So yeah, I used to know sign language now. I'm really not good because this was when like back when I was in high school, I think grade 8, 9, 10 11 or so and then I moved so from there on I haven't had practice haven't spoken to anyone in sign language I have forgotten sign language completely but I definitely want to take like a sign language class you know I want to learn again so yeah let me see if I can actually still sign a little oh I use my right hand which is the hand that is not painted okay um, it's A B C D E kind of has F It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Two hours later. Oh, it's Q, R, Q, R, is it S? W can't remember X Y Z. How is X? Wait, let me Google X. <laughs> One eternity later. This is X. I always forget X for chia and also like a fun fact about the sign language community is that they usually give you a nickname, right? So for me, for example, I have dimples. My dimples disappear when I gain weight. <laughs> but anyways, I have dimples, so my name in the sign language community was Dimples, you know. So instead of like typing it like or well, spelling it out to say, oh my name is Galuho, I would just literally just say hi. Dingo dimples. <laughs> the girl. Dimps. <laughs> Myself. Number Six, right? Was it number six? Four. Oh yeah, it's number six. Random facts about me. Number six, guys. I have this fake Louis Vuitton cover that I like so much. But anyways, random fact number six is that I hate I hate shopping with a passion. I don't get me started I hate shopping guys especially clothing shopping I actually love grocery shopping like if someone gives me money they say go buy groceries I will be the happiest girl ever especially if like I'm just supposed to buy random things that I want like don't give me a list tell me go buy what you want to buy I will be so happy but clothing shopping guys I literally get so annoyed when I have to go clothing shopping I come back angry 
when I go to clothing shopping because I genuinely don't enjoy it. And that is one of the reasons why you haven't gotten a clothing haul or any shopping haul for me. Like, and it's not coming anytime soon because I'm not a shopping person. And that's just that. So. <laughs> and then number eight. Is it number eight? Guys, I honestly, I'm so lost with the numbers now. So yeah, the next one is that I love foods that are burnt or stale. I know this is really weird. <laughs> I understand that this is really weird, but there are certain foods that I just enjoy them better when they are burnt. Like, for example, umpagoko, guys. Like, I enjoy uput when it is burnt. Like, when I hear my mother shouting at my little brother when he cooks uputu, it says, Yamo! I want a shizala! <gasps> Inside, I'm just like, <laughs> Thank you, little bro, you did that for me. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, salty like, Oh, biscuits, I'm a cake a little I prefer them brown. And like, brown and black oh they're so nice when they're burnt guys like they genuinely match nicer when they are burnt or foods that are stale um i wrote on my instagram if you don't have me on instagram this is the time for you to hop on that train and follow me but i wrote on my instagram stories that i open marshmallows like when i just when i buy marshmallows i open them and leave them in the cupboard for like two three days until they get stale like i make sure that i leave them open and then they get stale because i can't stand fresh marshmallows so they have to just get a little stale for me to actually enjoy them and then they have this chewy texture to them amazing my next fact is that i love school guys i genuinely enjoy education i enjoy finding out new things about things like if i'm having a conversation with someone and they tell me about something i'm gonna google it same time same place because i want to learn more about that thing you know or if they tell me about something i'm gonna write it down maybe on the side and then i'm gonna google it when i'm watching tv i watch a lot of documentaries i just love learning yeah Ooh, guys i think this is number nine if i'm not mistaken i hate it like this is my biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve is if we are sitting together and you are here the whole time like if you are on your phone the whole time we're together that for me is like a no-no i absolutely hate it um <laughs> random fun fact about this actually is that i'm writing my, my research um article for research at school <laughs> is about people texting while they're having face-to-face -face interactions with other people that's how much i hate it i put it in a paper and i made it my research paper that's how much i guess that is just nasty behavior oh there's actually two that's left but i'm not sure okay number 10 is that i am by nature very strict <laughs> I just think this is a random fact, honestly, because a lot of people think, okay, I'm very sweet. Don't get it twisted. I'm very sweet and very kind and very nice, but I'm also quite strict, especially at home. Like, I'm, I feel like in my family, when I get married one day, I'm going to be the strict parent. I'm definitely going to be the strict parent, and my husband's going to be the chilled one. Yeah, teta, guys. I don't like nonsense. That's just the person I am. So as a friend, like, I'm that friend who will tell you what you're doing right now is nonsense. Straight up. Like, I'm just a very strict person by nature, which is weird because people think I'm like this. I am sweet. Don't get it twisted. But people think I'm like that person who just lets everything slide and I'm really not that person. Like, I can be very strict, especially if we're friends. I'll tell you, Chomo, what you're doing right now is nonsense. I'll tell you, Miguel, you are speaking nonsense. What you are doing is nonsense. And I don't know how to sort of sugarcoat things i'll tell you straight up if we are friends or if i like i'm that comfortable with you if you get what i mean so bonus number 11 da, 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 da. um i don't know how to say this one actually that's why i've been skipping it but another random fact about me number 11 is that usually people with um they call it mental retardation i don't know if that's like an appropriate word don't call someone a retard but you can say someone with um mental retardation because that's like the i think that's the psychological term for it but anyways people with that uh condition those conditions they 
love 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 me i don't know what it is because at first i used to get so scared of them because you know how like people before i studied psychology i used to get so scared of them because you know people have these stigmas and these ideas about them that are not completely not even completely they're not correct at all look see they're very aggressive as much as there are some that are aggressive but that's not the reality for most of them you know so yeah like it's just i don't know what it is but like i used to go to hospitals a lot with church for like you know ministering to people and all that and every time we'd go to a hospital there would be that one person and they will always come to me i don't know what it is um my other because i was even telling my grandmother my mom also is very much aware of this she also notices this she's like did you notice i was like yes i noticed but i did not say so my mom says that when she was pregnant with me they would always follow her like they would always follow her around and she'd get so scared and she also did not understand what it was you know but only when she was pregnant with me and then now that i'm born it always happens guys they will visit me at my home I'm okay with it because I love them too. But I don't know what it means. If anyone knows what it means, like maybe it means I have a nice hand because I do have a nice hand. Um but yeah, they always really attracted to me. The other time I went to a funeral with my mom and there was this little girl and she was slapping people around. <laughs> Yo, that girl was so problematic. She was pulling people by the hair, slapping people. She was just like really being problematic. And then my mom and I walked into the church. It was like a church, but not my church. It was a different church because it was my other uncle's funeral. We walked into the church and it was already packed because we were late. And then we just sat at the back. Mugiel, immediately when we got when we got there and we sat down. I don't know how she sensed it was someone just walked in. And she left because I could see her like hey boy, everyone is just shouting at this little girl in 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 like you know how people can be so rude also. We got there, we sat down, and then this little girl, she just looked back, and then she came all the way. As when I tell you I was at the back, at a hidden place, Miguel came, and you know when church is like really full, and then they start putting chairs? It was that situation, like I was sitting at a chair, um, on a chair, at a very random place. Miguel came, and then she sat next to me, and I was so scared. Miguel is gonna hit me because she's been hitting people. She literally started brushing my hair and she was brushing my hair and she was talking to me. And I just started seeing Guta Aman. This is just a little child. Like she's not she's not a, a threat or anything. And then obviously I started entertaining her and playing with her and all of them. People were like, I'm getting a lantana as I'm relaxed. So I really don't know what it is, but they are so drawn to me and so attracted to me. But I'm not complaining because I really do love but yeah guys those are my random facts about myself i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it's not too long if it is guys i'm trying to get my watch hours yo support the girl <laughs> but yeah i hope this video is not too long and i'm so mad at how my makeup is coming out right now because of the lighting because in person this lipstick honey this lipstick in person because i'm looking at myself in the mirror there it's so dark and it's so rich but i'm looking at it on camera it doesn't look the same at all i think it's because of the way the lighting is hitting it with this makeup i'm serving a face right now <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe like comment and do all that fun stuff and yeah i love you guys gang gang <laughs> what was that what was that?